Hi, welcome to Data Engineering. Today we are going to discuss about the difference between group by key and reduce by key. So generally if you google it in internet, in internet people used to say reduce by key performance wise is good. So group by key is not good. So how come this performance difference comes into picture between reduce by key and group by key? And if you get a chance to solve some transformations, solve some problem with a transformation and you think both group by key and reduce by key can help you. In that case, please choose reduce by key. I will tell you why. And these two are wide transformation. That means in Spark, when wide transformation has a lot of shuffle. Okay. So generally, what is shuffle? So I have like three input partition and two output partition. That means so each input partition has to send the data to both the output partition. Right. So we call this part is shuffle. Okay, so when you do a shuffle, what are all the things happens in between? So you will have network IO. So the data that passes here, it's over on over the network. So the more network you get, the more traffic you will get. So that's again a problem. Network IO and then memory IO. So it's, it's all about like uh, uh, Spark is all about memory, right? So the data that get transferred between machine node to node through network and again it requires memory to do that and sometimes disk IO because when memory is full then obviously the data intermediate data will be get written on disk okay so in MapReduce there is no way to do this storage in memory but intermediate data storage between map and reduce is disk but in spark memory predominantly but when it when it is like the memory is not enough then it will get stored in the disk so the main goal for any spark developer is to reduce the shuffle so that you can increase the performance the job time will be get completed soon that is what the main goal people always used to do so here there is no way to completely avoid shuffle but you can try to reduce the shuffle so reduce the shuffle means you are reducing the network IO, you are reducing the memory IO, you are reducing the disk IO and so that the, prop, the, the job will move faster and reduce by key is suitable for it. So with the help of reduce by key, you can able to reduce the IO by reducing the shuffle, the data movement between the nodes. Okay, now I'll tell you why group by key is not doing that and how reduce by key is uh, reducing the shuffle part. I'll tell you. So before that, I will just show you a, a sample of both reduce by key and group by key. So the agenda is not just to see the sample or the code. The agenda is to really understand the difference between uh, reduce by key and group by key with respect to the performance. So anyway, we can see the uh, program as well. So this is a word count program. So I have, uh, I'm reading the file and then I'm converting it to map. So for each word, we are just adding one, which is incrementally it has to increase. So it's a well-known traditional example. And then I'm applying reduce by key and I'm getting my result. And the same way I'm doing it for group by key, you can see. So with the group by key also, we can able to do the uh, word count thing. Okay, so let's run this code. I'll show you the output. So if you see here, hello two times, welcome one time and hi one time. Okay. So now uh, I'm going to do the same with group by as well. Okay, so you can see hi one time, welcome one time, hello two times. So I'm getting same output with both reduce by key and group by key. So and as I told you, this is a white transformation. Both of them are white transformation. Data shuffle will be there. Now let's get into the architecture part. So I'll, I'll deeply explain you how uh, reduce by key is an added advantage. So imagine that you have some data. So let me go with hi. Hi is three times. You have three hi and then you have hello which is one time and is two time. Okay. So now this is my input. Okay. So and this input is split into two blocks in HDFS. So you'll get two input partition in spark right so uh, I'll, I'll use the traditional map reduce way to explain this architecture the the performance part so that it will be very easy for you to understand finally i'll match this with a spark term okay so here two blocks so two mapper so okay mapper one and mapper two and in map side the logic what we going to write is i'm going to split this word according to the delimiter which i'm having and then i'm going to add one with it like that means the the output will be hi one hi one hi one and then hello one is one 
and E is 1. So you will be getting like this. Okay. So now uh, the data can be get splitted to two input partition. It could be like anything in any order. So there is no guarantee like first mapper will get all high. Second mapper will get only E. No, it's not like that. So now the first mapper output is high 1, high 1 and then E is 1. Okay. The second mapper output is high 1 and then hello 1 and then is 1 okay so what i will do i will add one more is to my input file so that is the th that is the third is is coming for second mapper okay this is my output of first mapper and second mapper and we will be having the output partition traditionally we call it as reducer okay so in the reducer side what i am going to do is i am going to do the summation logic so these words will come here and the summation will happen so intermediately okay so the intermediately what happens here in map reduce generally shuffle we call it a short by key group by key and that means so you will be getting the data like this high off from both this mapper when the data comes here it will be like this and then is which is like three times again and then hello which is like one time okay then this comes to your reducer and finally you will get high as three uh, is as three and hello as one okay this is your final output now here the data that get transfers from mapper that is mapper output to reducer that happens via network okay and memory io network IO, disk IO, everything happens. Okay. Now imagine here each of this word uses a separate network just for diagrammatic purpose I am saying. Okay. Just imagine. So data transfer to the reducer, first data and then second data from the mapper 1, third data from mapper 2. And I will repeat the same for this uh, mapper 2. First data from the mapper 2, second from mapper 2, third, four. So now imagine 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it uses 7 network IO to transfer the data from mapper to reducer. Okay, in, in between because this part, right, whatever I have explained. So this actually ex runs on reducer side machine only. This, this part, this shuffle part happens in the reducer side. Fine. So now if you see here, uh, imagine it takes the seven network IO. Okay. It, it won't be like for each word, each network. No, it won't be that way. But for diagrammatic purpose, I'm explaining you this way. So this is how your group by key works. Group by key works along with your mapper. So here, this mapper 1, mapper 2 is called in Spark terminology, I can say partition 1, partition 2 or input task 1, input task 2 and this reducer is output task or output partition. That's it. Okay. Now, let me uh, redraw the same diagram. Okay. Let me redraw the same diagram for reduce by key. Okay. So you have mapper 1 here and then mapper 2 here and then finally your reducer here. Okay. Now, the same. Okay. So here, what reduce by key actually does is so before reduce by key i want to tell you something in map reduce world we had something called combiner okay in map reduce there is a concept called combiner which we call it as a mini reducer okay so that means the combiner will run on mapper side machine but it runs the reduce logic so once the map completes okay so on top of the map output the reducer logic on each mapper will be get executed so combiner is something a mini reducer that runs on mapper side now the output of the first mapper will be high 2 because the reducer side what you have written is summation of the key same key comes the value you are doing in the summation so the reducer happens in the first mapper so here high 2 is 1 that's it in the second mapper again you run the reducer means what will happen so high one time hello one time and then is two time right now this data again it has to come to reducer for summation you can ask me why two times we are doing the summation uh, straight away we can do the summation in the reducer itself right or straight away we can do it in the mapper yeah in mapper we have done we got high two but again we have one more high in map one right again i have to do high one plus high two then only i will get high three okay so now here why we are executing the reducer logic mapper and then again we are executing in the reducer. I will tell you. Now network IO. So now mapper output 
travels to reducer via network IO and if you see here now we are reducing the network IO 1 2 3 4 5 so in, initially it was 7 but now it was just 5 because we have executed the reducer logic on each input partition and this is what reduce by key does this is what reduce by key will do so when you use group by key there is nothing there is no change with respect to the shuffle nothing as is everything will happen but when you use reduce by key the logic of reducer the output logic the output task partitions logic will be get executed on each input partition itself so because of this what happens the outage the output uh, uh, of your mapper the volume of data is getting reduced and unwantedly moving the data during the shuffle is also getting reduced now you can see the network io is got reduced so this way we can able to achieve more performance this is not introduced in spark actually it was there in map reduce itself in the topic in the name called combiner so we use this combiner to increase the performance in the map reduce so the same same way people are asking us to use reduce by key when you need a wide level transformation for this kind of use case rather than using group by if you use reduce by key you will have good performance so this is what uh, like reduce by key gives to you and that's why this is performance wise it is good so in an interview if someone asks you regarding this performance optimization especially between these two transformation try to explain them in this way it will be very good so they can easily be able to understand so thanks for watching if you really like this video please do subscribe my channel and one more thing i want to tell you is so if you want to see this uh, time difference for the two jobs with group by and reduce by key you have to play with uh, a large volume of data with small volume you cannot see the time difference go with some large volume of data then you can able to see the time difference between group by word count and then reduce by word count Thank you. And I have created a new channel called Only Digital Kai where I am posting digital marketing and content create and stuff, uh, creation stuff for YouTube, Instagram. So please do watch that uh, video as well and support that channel as well. Thanks for watching.